are back at Darius Winery. I'm Kelly Mitchell, the wine siren for Wine Pass Travel. We're on location at Darius Winery in Napa Valley, and I am here with Danielle Boutros, who is the wine education director here. And um, Danielle, I'm so curious because we've had some uh, interesting discussions about creating an uh, exceptional client experience. Tell me a little bit about how Darius's philosophy on wine education marries the tasting experience mm -hmm. okay. and uh, what makes it different? Sure. Um, well, first and foremost, Dariush is, um, I mean, literally it's in, it's, it's in his culture, it's in his heritage to, you know, offer the most, the utmost experience, the most warm experience that he can possibly give to our guests who come in the door. And so, Part of that is for our people, our employees, to be as educated as possible so that their their um, passion for wine can be shared with the guests. Um, so I think that really, and I do think something you said earlier makes it makes a lot of sense is that, you know, we have an, an interesting, beautiful architecturally speaking, uh, Darius is, but when you walk in, it, it sometimes can take you back a little bit. But uh, I hope, I'd like to think that this place is full of warmth and um, that we also, the staff, exudes that as well. So the education is a big piece of that. Um, our people are very well trained. They have W set level two. We're all, we've all passed in some, of course, higher. Uh, and, and so I think that really, really transfers to um, the experience that the guests can have. That's fantastic. And to have everybody on a program like that um, is, is exceptional. I mean, a lot of Places don't require that's, that. That's right. Uh, Sarah Yush was, was very generous that way. He um, offered that to everyone, and everyone passed with flying colors, which was wonderful. Amazing. Yeah. Well, let's sip. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. To Cheers. And I love the glasses. These are not your ordinary winery glasses. They're Riedels. Yeah, they're Riedel oh, Bordeaux Riedels. glasses. Love that. Mm. Wow, that's very nice. Sometimes people like to hear about the notes and the explanation about the notes. How, what is the philosophy for Darius to approach a guest and, and when you're sharing a glass of um, beautiful wine like this, how, what's the interaction like? You know, I think that the most important thing, and, and we have all learned this as hospitality people, that you need to be able to read your guests. That's, that's first and foremost the most important thing. If someone comes in and they know wine, mm -hmm. they're comfortable with wine and they put their nose in the glass and they are enjoying it and they just want to, you can, if you can tell that they just want to read it for what it is, enjoy it and not, they're not asking a lot of questions, we won't say, well, this is what you're getting out of this class, you know, and this is what you're getting out of this wine. We will explain the wine, of course. Okay. We will explain where it comes from and all. We might give a couple of descriptors, but we kind of let, them guide us a little bit in that regard, you know. I love it. And we are sipping on the 2018 Viognier from the Oakville Vineyards. Uh, tell me a little bit about, if you will, Travis, uh, what the pairing experience is like when a visitor comes into the winery and how, what is the science behind uh, you creating pairings? Well, um, you know, First and foremost, I like to think that we try to cater to every guest's experience uh, to the best of our ability to give them utmost, um, you know, attention to detail and, and um, kind of like a sense of family, family and community. Um, Very cool. You know, uh, as far as the pairing goes, uh, it's something that you know. It, <laughs> Fortunately, I have to drink a lot of wine to figure that out. <laughs> well, uh, cheers to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, my job's really tough. Um, but no, seriously, yeah, it's, it's about experience and, um, you know, a, a lot of the ideas for me, uh, it's a little unorthodox, I, I kind of, it kind of come to me in my sleep. 
favorite things to pair with a Viognier that has a little bit of acidity to it. Yeah, so uh, I'm not going to give you complete dishes because I want people to come in and have their experiences. Okay. Uh, but I can give you components. Okay. Um, you know, I really like sea urchin with the Viognier. Uh, it's a little left field and some people might be a bit, um, you know, un might be unapproachable for some people. But the funny thing is, is, is Sometimes when you go to a tasting menu, you just eat things before you ask questions, and then afterwards you're like, I didn't know I just ate that, but I liked it. Oh, and I so love we that. have that ability to do here, and, and that's why you know I'm, I'm telling you I don't want to give you all the information because I want guests to, to still come in with that uh, ability of, of you know no judgment, no preconceived uh, opinions. Absolutely. And we are signing off from Dariush Winery in Napa Valley. See you soon. Check